Hello guys, my name is Carlos. Today I'm gonna explain you how to use Spring Data with Couchbase. Actually, this is a, a template project where I want to show you how to use it. The architecture is pretty simple. I create the controller where the endpoints are located, the service for the business logic, and the repository for the crude repository of Spring. The technologies uh, I use uh, are Spring Boot, all the starter projects uh, like Web, Tomcat, Test, and Catchbase, Java 8, and Tomcat 805, and Maven. Uh, I expose the CRUD methods plus uh, these two GET methods, the find user by email and find user by nickname. Uh, those methods use nickel queries. Okay, let's go into the code. Here I have the application properties. I put the host name, the bucket name, and the password. Uh, here I load the those properties using a configuration properties. I append the prefix catch base. Uh, okay, then we have I have here the configuration. This is uh, really important. First, I enable Couchbase repositories. I put the package where I put my my entities. It's a configuration, and then, well, I get the bucket name, the host. Uh, but look here, the type key. Uh, we are gonna see that by default we have an attribute named underscore class but if you want to change that name you can put whatever overriding this method type key i put a uh, type here so my document is the is a user doc so we annotate with document the class then i have the id the field for example the id the name the nicknames the age the email um, if you want, you can annotate uh, as a field the key as well. So I wanted to use uh, Couchbase Atomic Counters, so I create this class. Uh, the counter key would be user counter, and we can set the initial value, and we can increment uh, for each every time by one. And yeah, here we have the user repository. We can see that it extends CRUD repository. I want to show you two flavors, let's say. A uh, query method that it's find by email and the other one using a query annotation. So the query method is like a, you can put find by um, you can pass the, the other attributes, for example, find by email, find by age, let's say. And this one is like we are going to use query annotation and nickel statement inline. Um, we, uh, here we have select entity, so we select the user doc. This nickel filter actually is the underscore class and it takes the class of user doc. Uh, okay, so this method is find users with nickname. So we select the entity where the class is user doc and the array of nicknames is not is not empty and any nickname satisfies this nickname that i pass into in the parameter uh, keep in mind that yeah, to use nickel queries right now we are uh, i'm in the 4.6 uh, we should create at least uh, a primary nickel index or if we want to be more specific, uh, nickel secondary index that it's tailored for the queries for better performance. In this is, in this case, and ju I just created a primary index on the bucket. So let's show you how to test the application. So uh, this is my bucket. I removed the default one. I already created the primary index. So let's check the documents. So we can see that we don't have nothing. I open the Postman. I can create a user. And here, uh, okay, it says that it create the user. Let's check the database. So we have, uh, well, all the attributes. And look at this, it's, it's not underscore class because I said that I want it to be type and this is the the class. Um, if we want to uh, put the key inside the document, as I told you, it's like uh, 
you just annotate the key with the field. And what else we have? Well, we can get the user. So here is the information we can find by email. Uh, okay, send. So I found the user. We can check if it exists. What else? Find by nickname. Let's say so. My nickname is Charles. So I can select. Okay, I found. What else? Uh, well, here I, I left how to create a primary index, how to delete one if you are testing. Uh, I already said that you can annotate with ID and field the key. Uh, the user repository, the CRUD repository uh, provides the CRUD functionality. Create, read, update, and delete. Uh, if you want more examples or the documentation, you can check, check it out. And that's all.